Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers. Today's video topic is about deep learning and computer vision. We should discuss about the fundamentals of deep learning and computer vision. So we can start and also you can uh, subscribe our channel for latest videos of computer science. Okay, so let's start. At first, introduction to deep learning. Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that focuses on algorithm inspired by the structure and function of the human brain. Known as artificial neural network, the term deep refers to the use of multiple layers in these neural networks. Deep learning algorithms aim to automatically learn hierarchical representations of data through the composition of various transformations. This allows them to discern intricate patterns and features in large data sets. Some key components of deep learning include neural network, activation function, loss function, optimization algorithm, and backpropagation. Some popular deep learning architecture include convolution neural network for image related tasks, recurrent neural network for sequence data, and transformer models for natural language processing. Okay. So, another introduction to computer vision. Computer vision is a field of study that enables machines to interpret and understand visual information from the world. It involves the development of algorithms and models to extract meaningful insights from the images and videos. The primary goal is to replicate human vision capabilities by teaching computers to recognize, analyze and interpret visual data. Some key components of computer vision include image processing, feature extraction, object detection, object recognition, image classification, semantic segmentation. So deep learning has significant impact on computer vision, especially with the advent of CNN. CNN excel at learning hierarchical representation of visual data and have become the backbone of various computer vision applications including image classification, object detection and etc. Some key components of deep learning at first neural network. Neural networks are computational models inspired by the structure of and function of human brain. They consist of interconnected nodes organized into layers including input, hidden and output layers. The significance. Neural networks form the foundation of deep learning. They extract at learning hierarchical representation of data, enabling the modeling of complex relationships. Second, activation functions. Activation functions include non-linearities to the output of each neuron in a neural network. Common activation functions include sigmoid, tan, and rectified linear unit. Significance. Non-linear realities allows neural network to learn and represent more complex patterns in data. ReLU, in particular, is widely used for its simplicity and effectiveness in mitigating the vanishingly or vanishing gradient problem. Third is loss functions. Loss function measure the difference between predicted output of a model and the actual target. They quantify the model's performance and guide the optimization processes. Significance Choosing an appropriate loss function depends on the task at hand, mean squared error for regression, cross entropy for classification, etc. The goal is to minimize the loss during training. Backpropagation Backpropagation is a supervised learning algorithm used for training neural networks. It involves iteratively adjusting the model's weights based on the computed gradient of loss function with respect to the model's parameter significance. Backpropagation enables the optimization of neural networks by updating the weights in a way that reduces the difference between predicted and actual output, ultimately improving the model's performance. CNN or Convolutional Neural Network CNN are specialized neural network designed for processing grid-like data such as images. They use convolution layers to automatically and adaptively learn spatial hierarchies for features. Significance CNN evolutionized computer vision tasks by capturing local patterns through convolutional operations. They are widely used in image recognition, object detection and other visual data tasks. Recurrent Neural Network 
RNN are designed to handle sequential data by maintaining a hidden state that captures information about previous inputs. This enables them to model temporal dependencies in data. RNNs are used in natural language processing, speech recognition, and time series analysis. However, they are they face challenges like vanishing gradients and difficulty in capturing long-term dependencies. Transfer learning. Transfer learning involves pre-training a neural network on one task and then fine-tuning it on a different but related task. It leverages knowledge gain from one domain to improve performance in another. Transfer learning is a crucial for scenarios where level data is limited. Pre-trained models such as those trained on large image dataset can be fine-tuned for specific applications, reducing the need for extensive level data. This key concept collectively contributes to the power of and versatility of deep learning, allowing models to learn intricate patterns and representations from complex data and enabling advancement in various domains. Some key components of computer vision is about at first image processing. Image processing involves techniques for manipulating and enhancing visual information. This include operations such as filtering, smoothing, sharpening, and color correction. Image processing is fundamental for improving image quality, reducing noise, and preparing data for subsequent analysis. It plays a crucial role in enhancing the input data before feeding it into computer vision models. Second is feature extraction. Feature extraction is a process of identifying and capturing relevant information or patterns from images. Feature extra are distinctive characteristics that help differentiate one object or region from another. Effective feature extraction is crucial or critical for subsequent analysis tasks such as object recognition and classification. It involves selecting discriminative information and ignoring irrelevant details, improving the efficiency of computer vision algorithms. Object recognition. Object recognition involves identifying and categorizing object within an image or video stream. This task requires the computer vision system to assign a level to each recognized object. Object recognition is fundamental in applications like autonomous vehicles, surveillance and robotics. It enables machines to understand and interact with their environment by recognizing and classifying various objects. Object detection. Object detection goes beyond recognition by not only identifying objects but also locating their positions in an image. It involves drawing bounding boxes around the detected object. So, object detection is critical or crucial in scenarios where multiple objects of interest may be present in an image. Applications include video surveillance, self-driving cars and image annotation. Image classification. Image classification involves assigning a label or category to an entire image based on its content. It is a fundamental task in computer vision often used for tasks like identifying objects or scenes. Image classification is employed in diverse applications from medical image diagnosis to content based image retrieval. Deep learning, especially CNN, has significantly advanced in accuracy of image classification. Semantic segmentation. Semantic segmentation involves assigning specific levels to each pixels in an image, effectively dividing the image into regions corresponding to different objects or classes. Semantic segmentation provides a detailed understanding of the spatial distribution of objects in an image. It is essential for applications like autonomous navigation, medical image analysis and scene understanding in robotics. Another is motion analysis and 3D computer vision. Next concept is about transfer learning. Transfer learning is a machine learning technique where a model trained on one task is reposed for second related task. In the context of deep learning, transfer learning involves using a pre-trained neural network as the starting point for a new but related task. Instead of training a model from scratch, which may require a large amount of label data and computational resources, transfer learning leverages the knowledge gained from a source task to improve the performance on a target task. Some key concept is uh, pre-trained model, source task and target task, fine tuning, feature extraction and fine tuning layers, domain adaptation, freezing layers. Okay, so some benefits of transfer learning, data efficiency, computational efficiency and improved generalizations. Applications, right. Transfer learning is widely used in various 
domain including computer vision nlp speech recognition in computer vision pretrained models like resnet vgg mobile net are often used as starting point for tasks such as image classification object detection and segmentation transfer learning has proven especially beneficial in scenarios where obtaining large level data set for every specific task is challenging okay now we should discuss about the tools and frameworks in uh, deep learning and computer vision in the field of deep learning and computer vision several tools and frameworks provide the necessary infrastructure and support for developing training and deploying models these tools include libraries apis and other resources that facilitate the implementation of machine learning algorithms so some uh, prominent tools and frameworks at first tensorflow second is pytorch number third kedas number four open cv open source computer vision library number five scikit learn number six mxnet number seven cafe number eight torch etc these tools frame and frameworks provide a foundational for developing and deploying deep learning and computer vision applications creating to various uh, needs and preferences within the machine learning community the choice of framework often depends on factors such as each uses of co use community support and a specific requirement of the task at hand now we should discuss about the applications and future trends of deep learning and computer vision at first explainable ai second continual learning number third is self supervised learning edge ai and featured learning robust and adversarial machine learning ai for health thing or healthcare imaging generative models and ai creativity neuromorphic computing ai ethics and responsible ai quantum computing and ai now uh, i discuss explainable ai as ai system become more complex there is an increasing demand for models that can provide explanations for their decisions explainable ai or xai aims to enhance the transparency and interpretability of deep learning models making them more trustworthy and accountable okay generative models like such as gan generative adversarial networks are likely to be applied more extensively in creative fields this includes generating realistic images videos even music ai generated content and collaboration between humans and ai in creative endeavors may become more prevalent okay at the end of the video thank you for joining me on this journey into the fascinating world of deep learning and computer vision we have covered a lot to ground from the basics of neural networks to the real world applications transforming industry as we conclude remember that these technologies are not just the future they are shaping the present whether it is revolutionizing healthcare enhancing security or powering autonomous vehicles the possibilities are limitless i encourage you to dive deeper into this field experiment with hands on projects and stay curious These resources and tools mentioned earlier can be your guide as you embark on your learning journey. If you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to stay updated on the latest development in technology. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember the world of deep learning and computer vision is dynamic and ever evolving to stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time keep learning, keep exploring and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Thank you and a happy coding.